Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a really fun little item to share with you today, and that's some RGB LED light tubes. Now, I sought these out myself. I love these sorts of things, and I needed something to hide behind my karaoke monitor. And I'll share with you how they can actually contribute to your karaoke experience and hosting parties and stuff. But before we move on to the review of these lights, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you and all of your support because we are now monetized. It took you long enough. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell, keep it turned on because that's going to notify you of all the cool YouTube related media equipment when it comes to camera, action cameras, drones, the whole nine yards, and I just couldn't be more excited about what 2022 has in store for us. So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's roll. I think that we can all attest to the fact that RGB lights are not just for gamers anymore. People are starting to use them more and more today in their living rooms, in their front yards, their bedrooms, their kitchens, their patios. The list is endless because they are so user friendly. You can adjust the lighting to set the mood for any special event, be it Halloween, Christmas, or just a specific theme trying to show off the highlights of a room or a studio. But as I said before, I was looking for something to actually use with my karaoke system to accentuate the experience and I have found the ones that I really like. I went through about three or four different sets and it finally came down to these. Now first off, it can be very deceiving taking these out of the box and setting them up without the app because you can power them on and there's like eight modes per two different settings. So there's eight modes of different types of movement and you can toggle through the different modes that sound actually affects the light. So you wouldn't need your phone to actually use with these lights because they respond correctly on their own via a built-in microphone. And when you're done using them, all you have to do is turn them off and turn them back on and then they are in the most recent setting that you left them at. At first I was a little bit disappointed because I was trying to use the toggle button on the device to find a static color and then change that one color but you can't do it without the app. So when I installed the app a whole flood of new features showed up and it made me like these a lot more. To install the app all you have to do is scan the QR code on the back of the box here and it'll take you to your download site download that file and it's the symphony light and once you open it up you can adjust everything on these lights of course starting about by turning them on but then you can adjust all of the static colors and you can do preset colors so you can pick the one colors that you the sets of colors that you like the most and keep them there in your app or you can just do classic color mode so it'll toggle through all different sorts of lighting or you got I mean the list is very long so it's just fun to play with because this one's called magic and then you can adjust the speed of each one of these modes so that's very slow and then you can move it to where it just travels a lot faster and each one of these are the same so you get seven color energy all right you can slow that down a bit and those look really cool um, there's seven color jump, there's RGB jump, yellow, purple, cayenne, you got seven color strobe, RGB strobe, yellow, cayenne, purple, you just, the list is so long, there's just like 30 different presets to play with all of these lights, but I, when I'm not using them, I just like to set them on a static color that matches the rest of the studio, and it's nice for the ambiance, and I could literally just sit here and play with these lights all day long. Uh, here's the external mic portion of these lights. And you can, as you're speaking, you can adjust the lighting. And when you're doing karaoke and they're like on the back of your karaoke monitor, this could actually be a lot of fun. And there's a lot of different presets that you could use to adjust to the lights. And I really dig these things. And that just changes the setting and the, uh, the whole experience, if you will. And these, some of them 
don't look as good as others, but you know, that's all preference. And here's some cool ones. Check, test, one, two. And I'm using the microphone that are on the device themselves, but I can use my phone mic and I can use, have it respond through my phone. You can set a schedule and when you want these things to come on at a certain time and then go off at a certain time, that's a nice deterrent. So if you're not home, you could actually make someone think that you are. And a lot of people do that nowadays. So automation is key. For my purposes, I can use the USB-A into the back of my television as a power source because it's only 5 volt, 2 amp, 10 watt source that TVs are used to putting out anyways on USB ports and you can use that to power these and so when I turn on my entire karaoke system the lights come on with it at their pre-programmed lighting scenario and I don't have to really think about it. I can just go ahead and begin my function, my party, and everybody's enjoying these responsive lights on each type of the monitor that just makes it a little bit more exciting for the party atmosphere. It comes with these little stands and you can orient them however you want as you see here. That's why I've displayed them as such. But you can stand them up in the stands or you can just lay them down on their side and not use them at all like I'm going to do and I'm going to just put some velcro strips on the back of each one of them and then fasten them to the back of the television and then plug it straight into that USB port as I mentioned earlier and easy peasy. You can pick these lights up for about $25 on Amazon so that's a really cheap alternative to the more expensive versions if you're on a budget and I just like RGBs and my wife would kill me if I started spending more money on RGB because I don't really need it but I sure like it a lot and these are here to stay. But if you are interested in these I invite you to use my Amazon affiliate link down below and I'll get a little bit of kickback at no cost to you. If you haven't already please again subscribe hit that like button notification bell for any upcoming content concerning YouTube related media equipment. And if you have any questions about this device, please leave them down below, and I will see you all next week. Thanks a lot, and have a good weekend.